my name is Nicole Dobransky and I am two weeks into the test group for the gut four week gut protocol program created by Autumn Calabrese. This is a program that is meant to help you identify foods that might be triggering you and creating GI distress or GI discomfort. And I was so pumped to be excited to be invited to test out this program for a few reasons. Number one, I am just a student of of learning and I am so fascinated by understanding how different foods and exercises affect my body. Um, I'm a runner and I have GI distress on long runs and I was thinking that this program could help me identify maybe why that's happening or prevent it and give me some more information around that. Um, also, I joined because I gained eight pounds between Halloween and Christmas. And honestly, since the beginning of the pandemic, I have added an extra five pounds that I've really been unable to shake. And I think that has largely been contributed to really relying on more convenience foods and just slipping down into some un less healthy eating habits than I was in the past. And I kind of, you know, I am 38 years old. I started thinking like, maybe this is just getting older and this is the way it is. But now that I have done gut protocol and I'm two weeks in and I've already lost six pounds in those just these two weeks, which that's a lot of weight loss. I am eating on the maintenance bracket, um, not in the weight loss bracket because I'm also running. Um, and still seeing those incredible results. So I'm realizing that that extra weight that I've been holding on to was really related to some unhealthy eating habits that I have fallen into. So two weeks in, um, I, again, I've lost six pounds. And another huge thing is that my kids are eating healthier. So I am cooking more whole foods than I ever have ever. So for example, sweet potatoes is something that I would buy sweet potato fries on occasion, but I wouldn't, those weren't like a regular part of our, our diet. Um, in years past, I used to eat a lot of sweet potatoes, but now I have been making sweet potatoes regularly and roasting them and my kids are just devouring them. They love them. I'm eating more whole foods like brown rice that my kids will eat and chicken and more plain foods because I think before I was doing a lot of like bagged salads and convenience um, dinners and things where there's like a lot of ingredients mixed together and my kids weren't going to eat that. So I was making them mac and cheese. I also have realized how much of my kids' food I was eating. Now that I have certain um, food restrictions on this plan as we're eliminating them, I am really cognizant of the fact that my kids eat a lot of those things and that I also eat a lot of them because I'm grazing on their food. So their mac and cheese, I would eat several scoops or I might eat an extra nugget, chicken nugget on the, or a quesadilla that they're having or toast or whatever it is, the pe like all these kid foods. <laughs> and just kind of grazing on that throughout the day. And those are just all extra calories and extra stuff that my, my body doesn't need. Um, one of the things that I did, because again, I don't have severe GI distress. I don't have um, a lot of known sensitivities. So for me, this has been a really an experiment too. And um, one of the things that really helped me is I listened to a podcast on Autumn Calabrese's, on her podcast, where she interviewed an author of a book that was about gut health. I'll have to note it in the comments below. Um, but that, that podcast really helped me better get an understanding for why I'm doing this. I'm doing this for not just like a short-term diet or an experiment. I'm really doing this for long-term health. And it talks, we talk a lot about gut, um, your gut biome and how you want gut, you want biodiversity. So one of the things that on this program that we're which we are intended to do is eat 30 different plants a week and i know you can be like oh my gosh 30 vegetables no but plants are you know things like brown rice is a plant oatmeal is a plant um but just like counting that so at dinner i sometimes i will count how many veggie or how many plants i have on my plate and sometimes it's nine or 11 and my kids are helping me count and then they count how many on their plate, which is usually like two or three. And it's kind of just helping them become more aware of the different plants and the way that we, the things that we eat. And for me, it's helping help me buy different veggies. So in week one, you are, one of the things is you're not supposed to have raw veggies just to help with the, since you're, you are really eating a lot of vegetables, which I'm pretty used to eating vegetables. Um, I had been doing 2B Mindset just prior to this. And so I generally eat a lot of vegetables, but if you're brand new to, or you don't eat a lot of vegetables, like one of the girls in our test group says she just has the occasional salad and maybe like carrots on occasion with her as a snack. So if you're not used to eating a lot of veggies, you might have GI distress that first week just from the fact that you're eating so much fiber and you're eating so many vegetables and you're not used to it. So that first week, you really have to have an open mind and be like, I'm just seeing what's gonna happen. 
So for me that first week, not having salads was pretty hard because I usually eat a salad for lunch every day. It's very convenient. So the first week I spent a lot of energy and time and I really encourage you to take that first weekend before you start and sit down and really map out your meals and do some meal prep. Because that first week you're not going to be eating salads or things that maybe you can just compile very easily. You're gonna to wanna to cook in batches and make a lot of different veggies and a lot of grains, or not grain, you know, grains, or you wanna maybe roast some sweet potatoes and make some chicken in the, in the crock pot or buy a rotisserie chicken. And I have another video with tips on that too, but just preparing for that, for that first week. First week is gonna be hard. You're gonna miss some of your favorite foods. In other ways, it's gonna be easy because you're like, we just started, right? And so now that I'm in two weeks in, I know this is the point where people usually start to fall off because they start to be like, either it's not going fast enough for me, maybe I'm not seeing enough benefits and I still have two weeks left and it seems so far, but I wanna really encourage you if you're at the two week point, not to give up, but don't give up, just trust the process and don't rush it. I know that you can feel like, well, maybe I already figured out everything I need. Like I wanted my coffee creamer this morning so bad, but I did not do it. And just stay strong, keep going and I really hope that this was helpful to you. I will have another video as well on tips for combining this program with running. So look for that.